Hi and welcome to this Blender tutorial. I'm Ava and today I'm going to show you how to add an emission shader to a mesh or to parts of a mesh in Blender 3.0. This will work both in Cycles and in Eevee, but you will need to tweak a few settings in order to get it to work properly in Eevee. Emission shaders are great because not only can you use them to add light to, for example, a lamp or a neon sign, but you can also use them as aerial lights to light up a whole scene. Some of you are probably here because you want to know how to make the emission shader work properly in Eevee. I'll just show you that real quick before moving on with the rest of the tutorial. The current scene is using cycles and as you can see we have this nice glow effect around the letters as well as a reflection on the ground. But if we go to render properties and change our engine to EV, you'll see that we lose all of that. We can add this back quickly just by checking Bloom to add the glow and Screen Space Reflections to add the reflections back in. Both options also have a drop down menu. And I encourage you to play around with the settings here to achieve different effects. For example, you can change the color of your glow. If you also want to know how to add the emission shader to a mesh or a part of a mesh, keep watching. If you got all the answers you needed, thank you so much for stopping by and remember to leave a like and maybe subscribe for more. Okay, so we'll just quickly set up a new scene. I'm gonna go and select a new general file. I'm not gonna save this because I already have. I'm gonna press A to select all and delete on my keyboard to delete it. You can also press X to delete it. Then I'm gonna press Shift A and add a plane. I'm gonna scale it up by pressing S and 10. And then I'm gonna tap into edit mode. I'm gonna press edge select up here, or you can press two on your keyboard. And I'll just pick one of the edges. I'm gonna press E and set to scale it on the set axis, and then press 10. Then I'm gonna select this edge, and I'm pressing Control B to bevel, and I'm dragging my mouse out to increase the size. Now scrolling my mouse wheel to give it some edge loops. You can choose how many you want. I'm gonna go with something like this. Then I'm gonna tab back into object mode. I'm gonna right click, shade smooth, and that's our basic backdrop for now. Then I'm gonna press Shift A again and add another mesh. You can add whatever mesh you want, but I'm gonna add a UV sphere, but maybe you want to go with something like the monkey. I'm going to move this up by pressing G and Z and 1 to move it above the plane. And then I'm going to shade smooth by right clicking. There's a basic setup. I'm going to press Z on the keyboard to go to rendered view. And as you can see, we don't have a light source right now, so it's very dark. I'm going to go into render properties again. And as you remember, we need to check bloom and screen space reflections to get the emission shader to work. With the sphere selected, I'm gonna go into material properties. I'm gonna add new. I'm gonna call this glow. It's gonna be our emission shader. And if you scroll down, you will see that we have this emission option down here. If you click it and then move the black towards white, you will see that we get a slight emission effect. You can also change the color and the emission strength here to get a better light. So that's a really quick way to add an emission to your object. But personally, I prefer using a shading node because it gives you more control over your materials, especially if you want to make more advanced materials. So I'll show you how to do that. But first, I'm just going to give the backdrop a material too. So I'm going to click the backdrop, add a new material. I'm just going to call it backdrop. And I want to make this metallic. I'm going to increase this to one. 
Um, I want to change the color. You can pick whatever you like. I'm going to pick something like this. And I'm going to bring the roughness down a little bit to make it more reflective. Okay, so now I'm going to select the sphere and then go into the shading tab. I'm going to get rid of these areas right here by just clicking on the corners and drag. So we're going to start by pressing set and go into rendered mode again. And then we're going to select our sphere. And as you can see, it's using a principal BSDF shader, but we're going to delete that and add an emission shader instead. So press shift A and search and start typing emission. Then you're going to select the emission shader and plug it into the surface. And as you increase the strength and you can change the color and you can see that we get this nice emission effect. Now, if you have a mesh and you only want to add the shader to certain parts of the mesh, I'll show you how to do it. You just need to tab into edit mode. So in order to add another material to the same sphere, you just press the plus sign and that way you get a second material down here. Press new and you can give it a different name just to set it apart from the glow. I'm going to call it metallic. And I'm going to change the color just to black. And I'm going to make it metallic. But I'm going to keep the roughness at 0 0.5. Then with the whole globe selected, by pressing A, I'm going to press Assign. And now the whole globe has this metallic shader. So go to Face Select by pressing 3 on your keyboard or by pressing this button up here. You can choose different phases of your mesh. And you can also select loops by holding down Alt and pressing on the line between two faces. And if you hold down the Shift key as well as Alt, you can select multiple loops. I like that. So go ahead and select the phases where you want to add your emission shader. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and select some of the phases and make a slightly Reapy little smiley face. Then I'm going to select the glow material over here and press assign. And there you have it. I'm going to tab out. I'm going to tab out of edit mode and take a look at this little creation. I'm also going to make the background bigger by pressing S to scale and drag the mouse out. So that we don't have to see the edges as much. There we go. So here we have our little creation. <laughs> um, you can of course use this to add any type of patterns or different shaders as well. But hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, consider giving it a like. And if you want more beginner friendly tutorials, make sure to subscribe. Should you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. I would also love to see what kind of creations you make with emission shaders, so feel free to tag me on Twitter. There is a link in the description below. And that's it. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!